at all. So this is an Xbox One X. I was getting faults the E101 to 102, 103, 104, 105 faults. Um, it was happening when I was trying to get an update. Um, the update would get maybe um, three or four percent in, and then it would can it would give me an error code, or it would give me maybe going through the update. You could see a download of it was a smaller download. I'm not sure what the download was, but it was downloading about 700 meg, and it was downloading and it was getting down to about 600 meg, and then all of a sudden it would slow down and it would go. I don't know, 594, 593, and then all of a sudden it would come up with error. And it just got me thinking that this has got to be some. It's hard drive related. I know it's hard drive related from the error codes, but to me it was something that was related to being able to write on the hard drive. Um, and there was something just not, not right. So I took the hard drive out, and I took it out numerous times, formatted it. Um, there's another guy on YouTube with some great videos. I'll try and post his link on the bottom of this video. But it shows you how to format it and reading through some forums on Reddit, I understand actually you probably don't need to do that anymore. However, I couldn't find anything wrong with the hard drive. Um, and then I came across another video, which is quite a new video, and it's by a chap called Doodar, and I'll post his link. And he suggested that the problem is not the hard drive, and not so much the capacitors on the motherboard, which there's another good Reddit link by Xbooks, on Reddit who does a lot of discussion about capacitors and the problems with capacitors and changing the capacitors but I always think there's something more simple than just changing capacitors if the capacitors look okay then they probably are okay so Dudar said that the problem was this now I've taken mine apart but Dudar was suggesting that probably this SATA connection here is just rubbish. So I thought, and in his videos, he was having the exact same problems as me, or describing the same problems as me. So I thought, well, I'll have a go. So initially, I did change it. Um, and I used the power connection from, uh, I've got a lead here. I took a SATA connection, ah, lost it, anyway I took a, a normal SATA connection, I cut it up and I, I joined it onto the two wires and then I temporarily jacked it up, put that in, plugged it in and hey presto everything was perfect. I got the download, it all updated, I then done a full game transfer of nearly 150 gig and that all went through lovely, I haven't had a problem since. So all that was done temporarily using this lead, which um, doesn't fit because uh, placing that in there doesn't leave, uh, doesn't allow you to put the, uh, that's too, that right angle piece is too deep, doesn't let you put the drive on it. Um, I have made a bit of a bodge, but it works. So I did use another lead, which was similar to this. It was one of them red SATA leads. What I've done was I, it was a bit too rigid, so I, cut all the outer sheath off so I'm just down to the two wires inside um, and effectively it's left me with the two wires which I've used a bit of electrical tape just to put back together I'm a little bit impatient so I probably will buy a proper SAR lead just so that I could get it in and get it round so I didn't obstruct the airflow and stuff then the actual power I took a normal SATA lead to which you can see I've reconnected in to there so they're the two reds in the centre terminals and they are connecting to these two which if you bell them out or use a multimeter they are um, they were both short so they're both um, they're the same there's two pins there that are both same and then these are the two earth pins or the ground pins zero volts so they are the same so effectively I've just looped this earth around to this one this ground not earth this ground to this one <laughs> so ground zero volts and um, this and this is the uh, I think it's 12 volts, uh, it might be 5. So that red goes on to them two whites. Um, I'm not the greatest at explaining stuff, but I hope you understand. If you've got any questions, then obviously put them in the comments. Um, and really, that's. I just want to say thank you to Doodar because I've gone ahead and followed 
pretty much what he's done and it's resolved the issue for me. Here it is, same Xbox One X, um, and it has just booted. So I'm going to show you that it is the same one. You can see I've got my dodgy bit of wiring in there. So I think what we're saying is that the, the hard drive um, error is about reading and writing to the hard drive. Now I suppose that could be the hard drive. But in this case, what Dudar is saying is, or suggested is that the the issue is with this dodgy lead. Um, finger in front of the thing. Is with this dodgy lead. So effectively, if you can, and you've got the nouse about you, to install a new SATA lead, and then chop around a SATA power connection. Um, then I would go for it and do it because it seems to have fixed my Xbox. If anybody wants me to do a video on making that SATA lead up, then I will do a video of it. Um, but ask any questions. I'm not the greatest at making videos at the moment. Um, that's all.